Today we will be exploring Peru and specifically Cusco and Machu Picchu. Hello, my name is Zoe and welcome back to my channel. So I recently did an escorted tour of South America going through Chile, Bolivia and Peru. And now I am in Peru, I'm going to show you what we saw. So we entered Peru through Puno, spending an evening there after we've been to Lake Titicaca. And from there we made our way to Cusco. On our way to Cusco, we stopped at the Raki ruins. So these are ancient ruins from the Inca Empire. And it's also where you can see the Inca Trail passing through. And you would have seen the pictures up, you know, on Instagram of the Temple of Wiracocha, which it's most famous for. This is the tallest Inca structure that's been discovered so far. This area is much more than just the temples, it's just full of old buildings, old barns, stables, storage units. It's a really lovely area and you know, it takes you a good couple of hours to get around but well worth it. So what a wonderful, spectacular site that was and a great in introduction to the Inca Empire. The next stop we went to was Sacsayhuma. This is an Inca fortress and probably best known because it has the huge angular stones that are used to build the walls. And these stones, they're absolutely huge and they all fit perfectly together. And when you're walking around the town of Cusco, you see these structures and these walls all around. It's not just here that you'll spot them. And you wander around here and it's just full of magnificent ru ruins and you can really get a feel of what it would have been like with all the magnificent buildings and terraces. And it's really fun to go walking through the old walkways and alleyways that they would have had in those days. I mean it's a, such a beautiful town to come to. It's got multiple squares, a fantastic church and a massive market where you can see fresh fruits, fresh fish, flowers, souvenirs, you can eat there. But the whole atmosphere in Cusco is absolutely delightful and it is 
a souvenir shopper's paradise. It's phenomenal. which most people come to Cusco to go and see. So to get there, you take a, a train ride into the village of Machu Picchu, and from there you take a bus up the mountains. Now the village itself is very beautiful. It's got a river running through the middle of it. There's lots going on, lots of stalls, food outlets. So it's really nice to just spend a little bit of time there while you're waiting for your bus to take you up the mountains. And then you are in for spectacular views. I mean, these mountains are absolutely huge and the clouds are covering them. It's just magical. justice it's absolutely massive and this site it's got terraces going all the way up the side of the mountain and you can walk through them all it's got all the old structures and all the old buildings it's like looking straight onto a village this you know and if if it wasn't for the roofs that weren't are no longer there you would think it was still there it's absolutely spectacular and they really do look after the area so it's a real treat
take him, isn't it? We got to then spend an afternoon in Lima on a city tour. Now we were only there for a couple of hours because the next morning we were going off to the next place. So we only got to see the real centre, which is a bit of a shame, but the centre was lovely. It's got the government palace and the city hall and it's got the cathedral. Now I love cathedrals, I love all religious buildings, but I have to say this cathedral has to be the most spectacular one I have ever seen. It's absolutely huge and it's got all these different altar settings all the way around. Absolutely beautiful. We were only there for probably half an hour, 40 minutes, but honestly you could spend a lot longer here exploring. Absolutely recommend this in Lima. You can also uh, see the tombs underneath the cathedral. They've got some glass walkways and you can just see, see them underneath. Santo Domingo Convent and that's a very lovely place to just go and walk around the grounds. And that was Peru. Well except for I am now going on to the Amazon jungle in Peru which I'll put in my next video. But I, as I said I'm on an escorted tour and although they're really great to get to see lots of places you only ever get to see the surface and a small part of each place. But I will say what I've seen of Peru, Cusco and Lima so far, really lovely places and definitely gives you that appetite to go back and see some more. Thank you for watching and I shall be back next week and show you the Amazon jungle. Until then, thank you for watching and if you like my videos please like and please subscribe. See you soon.